Hello and welcome to Eastern Rome History. The following extract is John Zanaris' conclusive remarks on the reign of the Emperor Alexios I Komnenos. John Zanaris, Chronicle, Volume 3, page 766. He was undeniably full of good qualities, but such as are praiseworthy in a private person, not those that make a good emperor. For the qualities required in private life not the same as for an emperor. Moderation, equity, being slow to anger, a temperate way of life, these suffice for a private person. An emperor, in addition, must pursue justice, care for his subjects, and preserve the ancient customs of the commonwealth. He was, on the contrary, out to change the ancient ways, and his most earnest pursuit to alter them. He handled affairs not as public and belonging to the common interest, nor did he seem himself as an oikonomos, but as an oikoi despotes, considering and terming the basilie his private house. To the members of the senate he did not allow due honour, nor care for them suitably, but rather was at pains to humble them. Nor yet was justice the same for all. Justice whose characteristic is to give to each according to his deserts. But he, when it came to his relations, or some of those who served him, distributed the public monies by the cartload. They received fat, yearly donations, and enjoyed such wealth that they could have at their service a following appropriate, not to private persons, but to emperors, and by houses the size of cities, indistinguishable for their luxury from palaces. To the rest of the nobility he did not show the same generosity. To say no worse and spare the man, all this forbids considering him an emperor in the strict sense of the word. I have been your host, Daniel Maynard, and this has been Eastern Roman History.